Hey everybody, this is Adam with Churchfront. I'm here at Woodson Ministries in Odenton, Maryland, here with another worship tech makeover. Just wanted to go through what we had accomplished the last few days together. So one of the major things was that previously there was this Allen & Heath SQ, QUSB console. So here we've only got 16 inputs on here. And it can only be managed from an iPad. So one of the things that we wanted to do was switch to the SQ5 so that we'd have more inputs and more mix buses and just more mixing power, especially because the drum kit, I'll show you that in a little bit actually, I'll keep you hanging here. So with the SQ5, we were able to accomplish quite a bit more. I'm also able to help remotely because of this computer being connected. It's going to have SQ MixPad on it, so I'll be able to remotely help out with this console should any issues arise. So before, that QUSB was way up there where the stage box is now. So instead of having the stage box, the QUSB was right here and with some cables along the floor and a small wooden table right next to the drum kit is where the person operating the live stream and the in-person lyrics would sit. So we moved all of that tech back to this table back here in the back of the room so that whoever's running sound can be next to whoever's running slides and you can see and hear clearly everything from the front of house position. Previously, this MacBook was being used, and when I got here and you turned it on, you could hear it, the fan running, and the screen was flickering a little bit. I just got nervous about it, and so being that there's this new M2 Mac Mini, I'm feeling much more confident in that and its abilities. We're running ProPresenter. Previously, ProPresenter and OBS were being used, and because ProPresenter 7 can do what OBS can, we're only running Pro Presenter for the in-person and online experience. There's currently just a single camera that's being pulled in with one of these Elgato cam links, so it makes it nice and easy just pulling the camera straight into the computer over USB, that capture card. And then to control this, we're using a Stream Deck with the Pro Presenter plugins. So we've got a few things here like going live turning this on and off to go live, choosing between the main cam and the second camera. There's actually a second Elgato, the one that's unplugged, so hopefully another cable arrives and they can start to use two camera angles. They've got different props that show up, so turning on and off the sermon title, the pastor title, another pastor title, and some giving information for online and then being able to go back and forth between the slides in the room. Previously on these screens, the live camera would be shown, so it would be seeing the same thing that the live stream is seeing. So as you can see, the room that we're in, whoever is would be standing at the podium would also be on the screens. And so we're able to change that now and just have a graphic in the background instead of the live camera angle going on. Another thing that wasn't previously here is a talkback microphone for the audio engineer. So that's proved to be a, a helpful tool, especially because we just switched to all in-ears. Right now, this wedge is being used as a small front fill for the people to the right and left of this aisle just in the front row here. But previously, it was flipped around and being used as a stage wedge for the singers and musicians. And so now we're completely switched over from wedges to only using in-ears. And we're using these Presonus HP2s. I'm a big fan of these. I like the form factor, the size of it. It's a little bit smaller than the Behringer version of it. And I really love this cable. So there's power. You can power it over batteries. And then there's this one cable that pulls in the left and the right channels. So you can see how small this little five pin cable is. And it's able to bring in the left and the right channels over a very small cable as opposed to running two bulky XLRs to the actual box. So pretty simple operation, volume, pan. If you want it to be mono or stereo, plug in power and 
the cable that it comes with that splits to two XLRs. While we're over at the drums, the thing I was talking about earlier is splitting out all of these outputs. And so now there are eight channels for the drums instead of two, which is one of the reasons that going to a 2412 stage box, we're able to split out each one of these channels. So we've got kick, snare, stereo tom, stereo crashes, hat, and ride coming from this instead of just a left right. Which made it a lot easier to process and make sound great in the room and online. I'm a big fan of this Elisa Strike, especially in a room like this. It's not huge. A full drum kit would definitely be overbearing, but the drummer, Bernard, has worked really hard at getting these drum tones to sound good. And so when he plays it and we're able to push it through the system at a good volume, it just feels right for the room. Back to where our stage box is. Previously, there were a lot of cables here. So you can see it is just much cleaner now. We just took everything out and plugged it back in. And while we did that, we made sure that everything was labeled properly. A couple other cable management things. We ran all the cables along this back wall and then used this Velcro stuff right here to keep all the cables down nice and neat. Some of the cables were tied down with some gaff tape, but that leaves a sticky residue, especially depending on what type of gaff tape you buy. So this makes it much easier if you've got a carpet stage or a carpet floor that you can use these Velcro strips on. When I got here, these TVs also had cables coming down the wall and then along the floor. But while I was here, we ran them through the ceiling down over to where the tech booth is so that there weren't cables running along the floor. Before the cable came along the floor down here, and this is a main hallway to the bathrooms and the water fountains and things like that. So this is a little bit of a trip hazard. So we eliminated that trip hazard by running the cables through the drop ceiling here. Overall, it's not a very complicated setup. Mixing console, one computer running ProPresenter. This computer also can record and play back for virtual sound check. This one computer is running ProPresenter that sends to the room and online, a stream deck to operate that and then two speakers, a sub, and two screens. But being able to have it very simplified, but also of high quality makes it a much better experience for people running the technology, for people in the room hearing the great mix coming through, for the musicians to have in-ears and be able to control their own in-ears with their phones. Uh, just makes for the whole thing a better experience for everyone. So I was really happy to be a part of this transformation over the last few days. You'll notice a couple of things. One being that these cables are not cleaned up. There's a table that was ordered but didn't arrive yet. So Dolores is going to have a nice wooden tabletop with a set of legs that can go up and down. So that'll make it so that you can set this to a standing height for the people operating the tech. They can get some tall chairs or just move the table down when they want to sit. So all this will get cleaned up. If you've been following us for any length of time, you'll know that this right here is not our recommended way of sending video over long distances. So we're going to continue to work together and I'm going to be making some recommendations on the video setup of how to get the video signals to there as well as setting up a confidence monitor back here. Overall, I'm really pleased with how things came together the last few days. I'm excited to continue to work together in helping Woodson Ministries with the rest of their technology and making sure that they have team members that are trained up and know how to use all of the things that we made changes to. But I'm confident that they're going to be able to use this and be really happy with the results. It was awesome to watch the team come back to the tech booth after the service and see and hear the live stream and the changes that were made. And they they were just so excited about that. So I loved seeing those reactions. I love helping churches. And if you want me to come to your church or if you want someone from the church front team to come and help your church in person, you can go to worshipministryschool.com apply. We would love to work with you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.